Growth ETFs are amazing because of the incredible upside potential due to the higher beta, higher volatility basket of holdings. Now the SCHG, or the Schwab US Large Cap Growth ETF, is one of the best performing growth ETFs of all time. This ETF has an average return above 15% per year which is a return that even crushes that of the S&P 500. Now in this video, we're going to do a deep dive into this monster growth ETF and see exactly what this ETF has to offer. And of course, if or if not, the ETF is still offering some massive potential upside from here. Now stick around because we have a lot to go through. Right up to you, please drop a like in this video and subscribe for more future content like this. Now one of the main reasons that growth styled ETFs are so popular is of course because how fast they can compound and grow a relatively small amount of money invested. For example, the ETF we're going to be talking about later on in this video has returned over 260% price return in the last 10 years alone making an average annual return of over 26% averaged out over the last decade. Now first heading over to the Charles Schwab Asset Management website, let's first learn a little bit more of what SCHG has to offer. So first, one thing that stands out to me is the total expense ratio is just 0.04%. Now, generally speaking, anything below, I would say 0.1% is a relatively cheap expense ratio, but 0.04% is one of the cheapest expense ratios across any ETF in the market. Which means for long-term investors like myself, holding onto this ETF long-term will not cut into too much of the profits later on. Now it then says that the objective of the ETF is that the fund's goal is to track as closely as possible before fees and expenses the total return of the Dow Jones US large cap growth total stock market index. Some more facts about the fund, the inception date was 12-11-2009. The fund is a passively managed fund and the assets under management, the total assets is over 18 billion. Now looking a little bit deeper into the Schwab US large cap growth ETFs return as far as on the max time frame. Now this is the exact reasons on why some investors absolutely love this ETF. This ETF is up 469% and that is just in the last 12 or 13 years. In the last 10 years, this fund is up 261%. And as we go through these different time frames, you can see exactly how much this fund has returned on an annualized basis. On the five year time frame, 83.31% return. Now, the one year time frame has been a little bit rougher because, of course, the drops that we saw in 2022 into 2023. But year to date, this fund is up 32.29%. And that's even after the recent small drop off, where SCHG was trading at $78 per share just a few weeks back. Now, just to give some more context, the S&P 500 index, one of the most popular investments for pretty much any long-term investor, year to date has seen a 14.27% return, which generally speaking is very, very good. But once again, looking at the Schwab US large cap growth ETFs year to date return, it's not even comparable. Now, digging into the exact reason on why this ETF has performed so well over the past 10 plus years, and definitely so well year to date, it's of course because of the holding breakdown. Now this ETF has around 45% technology, which gives this ETF a higher beta than other ETFs out there, but if and when the market does turn bullish, technology stocks in general have a tendency to really move up in price very quickly, which is definitely partially how this ETF has seen so much massive amounts of return over the past 10 plus years. Now the next biggest category is healthcare at 13.8%, communication at 12.8%, consumer cyclical at 12.1%. Financials at just over 6%, industrials at 3%, consumer defensive at 1.8%, basic material at 1.8%, energy at 1.5%, real estate at 1.1%, and utilities and cash under 1%. Now when I show you the top holdings in this ETF, it's going to be very obvious on why this ETF has performed so well and why, in my opinion, of course I could be wrong, but in my opinion, why this ETF is going to continue to perform well long, long into the future. The top 10 holdings being Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Nvidia, Alphabet, Meta, Tesla, United Health Group, and Eli Lilly. Now, of course, because SCHG does track the Dow large cap, there are going to be 245 different holdings in this ETF, which makes the ETF pretty well diversified, which for the most part doesn't really matter all that much when the top 10 holdings are companies like these, which once again, when the market turns bullish, these companies in general perform or have performed very, very well. Now the Schwab US large cap growth ETF does pay a very small dividend. And although the dividend score is honestly pretty bad considering the trailing 12 month dividend yield is 0.46%, the trailing 12 month dividend growth rate has actually dropped. And the 10 year dividend growth rate being 2.6%, which is much, much lower than what pretty much any dividend growth investor is looking for. 
The fact of the matter is that investors buy into this ETF because they want to see some growth. They want to see their portfolio grow in a relatively short amount of time very, very quickly. And for the most part, other than a few times in history during massive macro events, that's exactly what this ETF has been able to do. Now, lastly, I thought it would be fun to compare some of the really popular dividend growth slash growth ETFs out there so we can all get an idea on exactly how well the Schwab US large cap growth ETF has performed on multiple different time frames. So in this example, we're going to be comparing SCHG next to the SPY, next to SCHD, next to the Qs, and then of course, next to DGRO. All popular ETFs in their own regard for good reason. Now we're going to be using the total return metric for this example, which means price return plus dividends included. So year to date performance comparing all these, the top top performer is going to be QQQ at 35.8%. Right behind that is going to be SCHG, and then way behind that is going to be the SPY, and then DGRO, and then way, way behind that is going to be SCHD. So you can see that investors that bought into the Qs or of course SCHG, year to date so far have seen the biggest return. Now during the last year time frame, it's sort of more the same. The QQQ is at almost 10% and the SCHG is at almost 7%, with the rest of the comparables being far behind. On the three year time frame though, this is where things start to get a little bit interesting. SCHD is actually the number one at 43.02% return, followed by DGRO, the SPY, and then Qs and SCHG is actually last in the three year time frame. But lastly, zooming all the way out and looking at a five year time frame, this is where the numbers get pretty crazy. The QQQ has seen a 106.39% return, and this is in the last 184 days. That is a massive, massive return over the last five years. Now, number two being SCHG with almost a 90% return, also absolutely massive. Then behind that, all very close to each other is the SPY, the SCHD, and DGRO. So it really just goes to show that for the most part, over the last five years or so, the growth ETFs have outperformed even some of the highest quality dividend growth ETFs across the board. So is the Schwab US large cap growth ETF a buying opportunity as of right now? Well, with the ETF currently trading at $72.84, being at the higher end of the 52 week range, I personally would love to buy some shares of this ETF if it gets a little bit closer to the midpoint of the 52 week range or hopefully even cheaper. But again, if you look at the max time frame, this ETF has pretty much done nothing other than trade up and to the right like I said earlier, besides a few small times in history, this ETF has performed very, very well. But I want to hear from you guys down below when it comes to the Schwab US large cap growth ETF. Is this an ETF that you personally hold in your portfolio? Or is this an ETF that you possibly would buy? And of course, if not, comment down below your favorite growth ETF that we all need to check out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like down below and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by and if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.